Hey everyone, so today I wanted to share uh, my experiences with loved ones who have passed away. Um, so way back in the day, I used to live with both my aunt and uncle for a while after going to college, which they were cool with initially, but things got weird between my uncle and I. Let's just say he was obsessed with me to the point where he actually stalked me at a family funeral once where he wasn't invited to and it took half an hour of my family members helping me escape without him seeing me since he was trying to follow me at the time. But while we were living together, I smoked cigarettes at the time and had lost my license. I procrastinated on getting a new license since I didn't feel like waiting in a long line just to get it. So I would just have my uncle buy the cigarettes for me and pay him back instead and I did this for a few weeks until I finally got my license card replaced. Well, a few years later when we knew he was dying of cancer, I expressed at one point to my older sister about being concerned that he would stalk me in the spiritual form rather than in the physical form, which he did when he was alive. Sure enough, I did see him in spirit form, and I told my Reiki teacher about it. Luckily, she was able to communicate with my uncle to stop, and he did. Also, uh, after my uncle passed away, my license went missing, and I've only lost my license card like a few times, so it's rare. I always keep it in my wallet so I know where it is, but somehow it had vanished shortly after his death. But perhaps a better story would be about what happened after my little love Boo Boo had passed away. She was a kitty who I was very close to. She was lying on top of my heart moments before she would forever be in my heart. But before I tell you about her story, I have to tell you another story first. You see, one day, when my boyfriend and I were about to go to bed, he says to me, I think I'm going to go scuba diving to my island in my dreams tonight. You can join me if you like. So a few minutes later, my boyfriend fuzzies is snoring. And then I see this small cloudy white sort of figure of my boyfriend wearing a scuba diving outfit swimming in a downwards direction away to his island, which was rather amusing. So I thought to myself, oh, that's interesting. Uh, so fast forward with that story in mind a few months later to the night when Boo Boo passed away. You see, I was a cat nanny and I'm good friends with the cat caregiver or cat owner, as most of you would say. And the kitties were just as close to me as they were to him, especially Boo Boo. As my friend would say, Boo Boo doesn't love you, she's in love with you. So you get the idea of the nature of my relationship with Lil Boop or Boo Boo. My friend and I agreed that we would have Boo Boo sitting on my lap when she was put to sleep. She ended up lying on my chest since this was more comfortable for her instead. And we also had the vets come to the house so she could be more comfortable as well. My friend really loves his cats. So anyway, right after the vets had given the second shot to Boo Boo who was lying on my chest or Tommy, I saw this little cloudy white figure of Boo Boo with angel wings flying up to heaven, just like the cloudy white figure that I'd seen of my boyfriend, you know, scuba diving in his dreams, which was really quite a spiritual experience that oddly left me in awe despite the grief I felt. But yes, it was an amazing experience to have to say in the least. Uh, there was also an experience that I had with my parents' puppy Reggie after he had passed away. Um, I remember that night I had a dream of with a nuthatch in it, and sure enough, the next morning when I woke up, I saw a nuthatch in our yard. So those are a few of the spiritual experiences I've had with family members who have passed away. 